What's up everybody, Chris Gott here, Healthy Living with Chris Gott, and today we're going to talk about vegan protein sources and what all vegans just need to know, and we're going to talk about right now. Alright, so make sure you watch the full video and that way you get the full benefit because I'm going to go over a bunch of different proteins that are out there but you need to mix them up. You can't just go on one of these because you're not getting all the, the minerals and the vitamins and all that. So make sure you watch the whole video so you can learn all the different foods that I'm going to mention and then make sure that you take action on this, meaning make sure you get these foods into your diet if you're not already because remember Newton's law and that is a body at rest will stay at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion unless a force is acted upon them. And basically what that means is you can't expect to make changes in your life unless you actually change something in your life. So make sure you go and do that and you'll be much better off. All right, and before I get into the foods, make sure that you try to get all organic if you can and, as much, and eat as much raw vegan as possible. Now I know that's not 100%, you can't be 100%, I'm not 100%. There are foods that I eat that are not organic. There are foods that I eat that are not raw vegan, but I do my very, very best to get that in. So make sure you do that. And the more you can do that, the better off you'll be. So let's move on to the first food. And that would be pumpkin seeds. So pumpkin seeds have a whopping 33 grams of protein per 100 grams. It's about a three and a half ounce portion and that is probably the highest amount of protein in a food that's in the, in the entire world, it's probably. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's close if it's not. And if you compare it to beef, for instance, beef has 29 grams of protein per 100 grams. So pumpkin seeds actually has more protein in it than beef. So just wanted to throw that out so if when people say that you can't get protein from a vegan diet it's been debunked you can and other seeds all seeds have a lot of protein in them so other seeds that are also high in protein that you might want to think about would be hemp seeds flax seeds and chia seeds so they're all very good for you and i would mix up the seeds because they give you a lot of different minerals and vitamins and that way you're getting a more balanced diet if you're mixing them up all right so the next one is peanut butter. So peanut butter has 25 grams of protein per 100 grams. And that has more protein than just about any other nut. And there are a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of powerlifters that I've talked to that swear by peanut butter for their bulking phase. So when they want to bulk up, and obviously powerlifters are always bulking up, but bodybuilders will, will Obviously, they bulk up, but then they, they trim down. But during their bulk phase, most of them have told me that peanut butter is probably the most important food out there for putting muscle on. So it does have some fat in it, though. It does have fat in it, and but it's a healthier fat than a saturated fat or animal fat. So just know that there is some fat in it. So when you're in the trim down phase, you don't want to go crazy on the peanut butter. But when you're in the bulk phase or the power phase, then peanut butter is fantastic for you. And all nuts have a great amount of protein. And some other ones that are high up there would be almonds and pistachios, cashews, hazelnuts, and pecans. So grab nuts, eat them every day, and you will have your muscles grow and you will feel good. The next one would be tofu. So tofu has 17 grams of protein per 100 grams. And if you don't know what tofu is, you probably kind of know what it is. If, you, if you're vegan, you definitely know what it is. Um, if you're not, then you probably are wondering, okay, really, what is it? And basically, it's just basically curds from soybean milk. So if you think about how cheese is made from regular milk, from cow's milk, uh, curds are made from soybean milk. So that's really basically what it is. So it's a little bit processed, but it's not overly processed. So you can get organic to, uh, tofu which is which, which is what I go for so you know reach for the organic one and you'll get something that's less processed it does take a little I have to be honest with you I'm not a big tofu fan and it does take a little bit of time to get used to it and I'm getting used to it now because you can add all sorts of spices to it to make it taste better and one of my favorite 
meals with tofu and actually it's probably one of my favorite meals altogether. so this is one I actually do really really love and that is a tofu scramble and if you put in some turmeric and salt and pepper and you scramble you know you break up the tofu and you you do a tofu scramble I mean you put and I put in some mixed vegetables in there just get some vegetables in it actually resembles and tastes like scrambled eggs it actually because the turmeric makes it a little bit yellow it actually looks like scrambled eggs tastes like scrambled eggs and it's one of my favorite uh, meals. I actually will also top it off with a little bit of vegan cheese on it and it, it's just it just tastes fantastic. So try that tofu scramble. You're gonna you're gonna love it. The, you know and it's very easy to do. So the next food on the list that I like to bring up would be lentils. So lentils has nine grams of protein per 100 grams and you can just eat them the way they are. You cook them up, eat them and you know I, I see them in a lot of uh, Indian recipes and I'm telling you when you put those Indian spices in there it just it just tastes great so it's a it's a great dish and so I would definitely recommend going that way there's also if you don't want to go that route and this is a little bit more processed but still you know better than regular spaghetti but they do have uh, pastas out there that are made from lentils and if you eat those and you're getting a much better version of pasta than if you just went with the regular bleach flour type of pasta which gives you absolutely no nutritional value at all. So the lentil pasta and, and obviously they make pastas of all sorts of different things like quinoa and all that and they're all very good uh, for you. So reach for some of those and you will have a much better alternative than just plain uh, bleach flour pasta that we're all used to. The next one would be garbanzo beans. So that's nine grams of protein per 100 grams. So it's the same as lentils. And there's just so many ways you can prepare it. You can cook them up. You can just smash them up. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite snacks of all time is hummus. And hummus is obviously made out of uh, garbanzo beans. You can also talk, call them chickpeas. It's the same thing. You probably already knew that. Uh, but they are very, very good. And beans in general, are very high in, 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 in uh, protein. So I'm just, I'm just gonna talk about beans real quick, like black beans, lima beans, uh, peas, pinto beans, kidney beans, they're all very, very, very high in protein. So I would make sure you get a good mix of beans in and you're gonna get a lot of different vitamins and minerals as, long, as well as getting the protein in. So our next one would be leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale, and broccoli. Now this is only about three grams of protein, but I wanted to mention it on here because a lot of people think there's no protein in vegetables, but there are, there is protein in vegetables. And so three grams of protein per 100 grams is not a huge amount, but it's still protein in there. But then the reason why I bring these up too is that they are just so packed with all sorts of great vitamins and minerals that you really want to get them in. I just put them all in a smoothie, uh, when I, my morning smoothie, and it, you, know, you don't even taste it at that point. And you're getting all that great benefit of getting all those greens in very easily. And you want to get those in every day. And I, I didn't mention quinoa, but I probably, because I didn't, I didn't think about it, to be honest with you. But I'm just going to throw off quinoa because I did talk about it uh, during the pasta stuff. So, you know, talk about the pasta. But quinoa is also an awesome protein out there that you should eat. And you replace rice or you replace a, a pasta with quinoa, and you're going to get a much higher amount of protein in if you do that. So, so think, think about doing that and swapping out uh, some of those things that you put food on top of like vegetables on top of stir fry or whatever you want to do, put it on top of quinoa and you'll get a much more amount, good, good amount of protein in. So the last thing I wanted to mention, but these are, so I, I kind of look at them as kind of insurance policies. So like vegan protein powders and bars. So this is the type of protein powder I use. It's organic, it's pea protein mainly, and it's, it's just, it's vegan. And I just, I just love it. And I put it in my smoothies, and, and I put it in uh, some, some yogurt sometimes, like plant-based yogurt, and just get a little bit more pop of protein in when I need it. And then these bars that I love are the, are the and I know I've mentioned them before, are these Go Macro Bars. And these Go Macro Bars are just fantastic, fantastic because they're, it's not only is it or get they are organic, but they're also vegan and they're also certified raw. 
So they have all, all the what you need and great amount of protein and I will put in the link below where you can get those to try them out to get like a variety pack and then, but you can also get them at Whole Foods and Sprouts or some those types of, of grocery stores and I'm telling you they, they, they're just great to just grab. If you, you know I eat six times a day so you know, I'm grabbing those snacks in between meals it's so easy to just grab that and it's like 280 calories and, and around there and I, you know most of them have somewhere between 15 to 20 grams of protein in them so it's very easy to get the protein out. So that, this is just these are just some of the foods that way that we, vegans can get uh, protein in and I'm just wondering what you got from the video are you going to try or increase the consumption of any of these vegan uh, proteins do you have any others that you would recommend you know we all want to learn from each other so if you do share it in the comments below share your thoughts in the comments below and you know and I will answer as many as I can but also I think it's great because then we can all see your comments and learn from them. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube will promote this video more so that others can see it and benefit from it as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also ring that bell notification and that way you'll be notified every time I drop a healthy living video. And right now I'm dropping them on every Thursday and on every Sunday. Also, if you know anybody who can use healthy living videos like this one, Make sure you share this video and the channel with them and that way they can join in on all the fun. And for more tips on how to live a happier, healthier life, two videos are gonna pop up any moment and you can click on one of those videos and you can continue your happy, healthy living journey. And I'll see you all soon.